18 races down. 18 different winners. And we are 12 chase drivers in it to win it. Let's see how we do get out on track that we haven't been to since race 2. Carl Edwards won the last race here. Well, the last and only race, that is. And... But it all ended in a, in a very humongous 60 car pile of blast off crash, I believe. Yes. Anyway, our 12 chief drivers Brad Kozlowski, Dan Patrick, Greg Beaver, Matt Kenseth, Kyle Bush, Jeff Gordon, Paul Menard, Jeff Burton, Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Bush, Dylan Jr., Carl Edwards. Here we go. It is the Des Moines Super Speedway. Welcome, everyone, to the Iowa Cafe 200 here. 32 cars are going to take it across the field today, and once again, we're going to start three wide because this track is so, so small and so narrow. I'd rather just have all the cars bunched up like this. Anyway, last time we were here, we had some incredible pack racing. Oh, yeah. Also, a new feature. Every chase series that, that, that we go to, it's going to have this. Brad Kozlowski, Greg Biffle, that kids, Jim Patrick, Kyle Bush, Jeff Gordon, Paul Bernard. Jeff Burns, Jimmy Johnson, Kurt Bush, Dion Jr., and Carl Edwards. Y yeah, so it's gonna be pretty exciting to see how how how, how it turns out. Anyway, like I, I probably just said this, uh, huge pack racing here today. L last time we saw almost four and five wide. Anyway, we got four recorder cars starting in the top five. That's pretty impressive. But here are all our chasers: Dion Jr., Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, Dan, Jeff Gore, Gordon, Rakazowski, Daniel Patrick, Kyle Busch, Matt Kenseth. Search around here. Big Dimple, Paul Menard, Jeff Burton, Kurt Busch. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I I wish I could talk talk about a lot. Anyway, these next this race and the next six they're all gonna be chase races, and it's gonna get seven new tracks. Here are the names. We got this track, and then we got Danville International Speedway, followed by West Virginia Raceway, uh, and then followed by, by the Mason Motor Raceway, but, but before the Sprint 200, which will be hosted at the Mason Motor Raceway, we're going to have the All-Star Race. So then after, so then after the, the points, uh, Sprint 200, we're, we're going to have, hmm, I'm trying to think here. Actually, I, I think after that, we just have, and then we have Flagstaff, and then we have San Mateo, and then finally we, we go to our track and head to New York City Raceway. Anyway, I wish I could talk about more, but now I got the storyline going on. On the front, we got Dale, Junior Carl, was, you know, to be honest, on our second, we got Jeff Gordon, Casey Kane, and Rekazowski, third row, Darren Hutchin, Kyle Bush, and Matt Kenseth, fourth row, Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, and Ryan Newman, fifth row, Eric Rowe, Martin Strickland Jr., St. Morris Jr., 6th row, Clint Boyer, Mark Martin, uh, Marcus Ambrose. Seven row, Greg Biffle, Bob Lyon, Charlie Bain, 8th row, Paul Menard, Keith Sears, Dan Hamlin. 9th row, Jeff Bryant, Michael Walter, and Marcus Jones Jr., 10th row, Kerr Bush, Joe Gallon. AJ on there in the last row. Dear Dragon, Jim Murray. It's going to be a fun race today. Let's see how our 12 trace drivers are going to do here at this race. Let's get these edges started. In the following pictures, you're going to see it at the Iowa Cafe restaurant. Bye. Start your agent! Green flag! Who's going with the first round of the chase? Well, we chase or not chase, and Jeff Gordon's going to do that. A diamond in turn one, he's going to try to get into second, but it's going to be a three on the bell. Danny, Dylan Herger has just pulled away from Carlos Mianza and Jeff Gordon. Casey Gaines started blocking Danny Patrick, and he's a non-chaser.
The idea now he just has a huge lead, and now we can have battle for second here, and now it's really intensifying. Oh, Jeff Gordon's gonna try to pick up Carl Edwards! Even contact! Oh, Gordon gets the chance, and Edwards is sideways! Oh my goodness! Now Jeff Gordon Jr. Johnson's gonna try to do two car tandem. And we don't Jr. He's just pulled into a three second lead! Oh my goodness, now we're gonna check back here on most of the pack. This is about half of the field. Oh my goodness, Dadrick! Oh my goodness, Kenzie McAllister! Oh my goodness! I don't know! Oh my goodness, Lamar Highway! Oh, dude, great field for Hodard! That, that was so many chasers! Kenzie was a chaser, damn. Patrick was a chaser, Kyle Bush was a chaser, Greg Bill was a chaser, Hodard was a chaser. That's five chasers out of 12 that were involved in this crash! Unbelievable! Yeah, and we had some very hard impacts right there, and a lot of heartbroken. Oh, Harvick gets the same thing as Patrick. There's gonna be a lot of talk about Harvick and Patrick t today, and Harvick, and everyone just goes hard to the outside, well, including Kyle Busch. That kid, he comes down the race, gets an Erica Marley. Take Patrick, he, she's gonna slow the Greg Biffle, and Paul Menard, he was he was right behind Greg Biffle and ma made some contact. Anyway, Clipboard, what's going on, Clipboard right here? Watch Kenzie. Oh my goodness! Oh man, that was incredible. But anyway, back with the caution and summary. Hi guys, welcome back to the Iowa Cafe. So after just having a very, very, very bad crash for chasers. Yeah, so like you just said, Palminar is going to just be held back one lap. So if you, so if you want to down when he comes back on the racetrack, Dylan is going to be the points leader. He's still very, very strong. Man, did you, did you see him? Like, he was just like sailing away. Anyway, here's the rest of the field. Overview. Yeah, anyway, uh, you might have noticed, I didn't mention here, but actually, that, that black line, that wasn't there last time we were here. That happened was after, after the insane Kurt Busch car crash with Matt Kenseth, if you remember that. Kurt Busch got into Matt, got into Matt Kenseth. Yeah, so what we decided to do was, uh, we decided to take the whole entire out. And in fact, next next year, all this grass, that's going to be all a, all like a black asphalt to make more room for, for the lap, lap cars. I mean, yeah, yeah, such yeah, such a long a long front stretch, but but a short back stretch. Anyway, that's all I want to say. Okay, when we come back, it's going to be lap five. And let's get back racing. Woo! Green flag, lap five here. All over Carl Edwards. He's going to run with Dale Jr. And Jimmy Johnson is going to try to get the lead from Dale Jr. And Carl is just going to take the lead from Dale Jr. Here comes Jimmy Johnson right back on him. Here comes Jeff Gordon. Oh, wait, Carl is, is going to do Cartier with Jimmy Johnson. And we have more two Cartier going on. Dale Jr. is looking to make up the front. And Carl Edwards is now going to be side by side with Dale Jr. Oh, my goodness. Now Jeff Gordon brings us here, making it up to the pack. And Dale Jr. is looking to slow down for some reason. A Paul Menard. He's going to be back on Pit Road. Here comes Jack Gordon for the lead. Brackazowski helping him. Oh, I guess Paul Edwards gets slowed in right here. Tyler Stewart. And no Becky involved. Carl Edwards is going to lead out. But here comes Jack Gordon. He's going to take the lead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Last six. And then he's got big crack. It's the big one. Jack Gordon and Kurt Busch are chasing. And Kurt Busch on his side. I don't know if you saw it, but he was on his side. And then you can see it right there. And here's the feel of the time of caution. Jack Gordon is going to be the leader next time around. Good luck for him because someone just signed up for him. The last race. Or make it so crew bush because he's on his side. But chances are he will be okay. The guy he's tracked Danny Hill and Michael Altram and Ricky Stout's Jr. all there. Here goes 3151 are, are chasers, so this is a big hit for them. Bad day for chasers for some reason. We now we only have like five chasers left. And those five chasers are in like the top six. Yeah, and Kurt Bush is somehow able to get his car back rolling, but he's still out. I guess Jones Jr. is going to be held one lap down. And Paul Menard, he's going to get his lap back. Aaron's like a dog, and here's Stuart like the big one. Watch by the body. He's going to try to pass the chair, but anyway, he didn't realize Keith Sears was there, and he just caused the big crash. Kerbush got in Danny Hamlin, and Kerbush going outside by Ricky Jones Jr. And Jeff Brown almost made it through, but he just didn't make it through in time. There's a story to go. On more Jeff Brown. Watch what he saw. Here we go. Oh, he hit Danny Hamlin, and they hit... He got hit by Michael Watcher into the followed body. And now let's go over Kurt Busch right here. He's right behind Michael Watcher. Oh my god, he's on his side! Anyway, back with the caution summary. Hi everybody, welcome back to the Isle Cafe. 
200 caution summary, number two. I'm trying to say, car pile up, six of the cars are out, if it gets down sooner, it's going to be held back a, a lot to make repairs. Paul Menard got the waiver. Well, he got the lucky dog. Anyway, that is the rest of the field. Anyway, I don't know if this is a new record or not, but we've had, like, or or if we tied it before, but yeah, like we've we've had four different four different leaders, and that's a new record. Anyway, but let's get back racing here, and who's gonna win the first race of the chase? Let's find out. Oh, we were Jeff Gordon, Lad Knight, Tate here. Let's find out who's gonna win the race. Oh, we're here across Carl Edwards. He's gonna get the outside with help. Brad Keselowski, who's currently second. But here comes Dude Johnson. He's He's gonna try to get help from Dale Hart Jr. here. He looks like he's gonna get a major, major push right Dale Hart Jr. And now he's going to the lead. Here comes Jeff Gordon. He's gonna get a push right Casey Kane. That top six. They are pulling away from the rest of the field. And here we go. Last lap. Who's gonna win the race? It's far. It's I gonna be the top six because look how far they are from the rest of the field. As they're four and five wide behind. And we these cars can't separate. They're getting so close to each other. They're probably pushing big in. Oh my goodness. Here comes Carl Lewis. He's gonna help Ray Gazowski. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Let him be contact at the end. Can't believe he touched Carl Lewis. Oh my goodness. They're full wide for the lady. Jonathan gives it a goal. And can't the can't just won that race. Oh my goodness. Full wide for freaking to finish. Full wide for freaking to finish. Anyway. That was the best thing ever for Kendrick! You couldn't believe it! It's the replay! From turn two to the finish line. Watch this! We're gonna, we're gonna slow this down immensely. Watch this. So we're all pretty even right here. And then Ragazowski is gonna push Carl Edwards to the lead, but he pushed wrong he pushed Carl Edwards the wrong way in the corner, and that's what put him in the wall. And Carl Edwards Kazowski, they're gonna have a talk in their house. Any, anyway, and there's the four wide finish right there, but how are they four wide? Let's go over to DK and see how he won. This is gonna be very, very interesting, so, so now we're gonna slow it down a little bit here. Now watch Jimmy Johnson and Jeff Gordon. But I pay attention to Dale Jr. Wait! Oh, Dale Jr. pushed all of it, pushed Jimmy Johnson wrong into the corner. And, and then Jeff Gordon. It was getting pushed by KCK too hard, and him and Johnson made contact. So here comes KCK, he's just going right to the middle. And, and, that, and that was incredible, as Kyle Petty would say. <laughs> anyway, KCK is now a 19th winner, locking the Ulster race. And good, congrats to KCK, KCK for him. He's gonna give down a junior, uh, congratulate a non chase that wins a first chase race, race. And Jimmy Johnson, he's gonna congr congratulate, and so is Jeff Gordon. They're all being congratulated. Anyway, this, this was a really good race. Well, here, congrats to Ryan Zach, who's on my Carson H814. Thank you for watching the Auto Cafe 200. Like, comment, subscribe. Anyway, our next race, it's going to be outside the U.S. Bye.